like to welcome you to a demonstration of how you might be able to automate human tasks with machine learning models using Kamunda. Today we're going to have a brief introduction of the topic that we'll be discussing today. I'm going to show you an example using customer sentiment, so positive comments, negative comments, or neutral comments. We're going to show you how this would look with a human task and how this might look if you substituted that with a machine learning task. And then just a summary of what you've seen. So a little bit of introduction. As we know, customer inquiries are time consuming. They have to be sent to the correct department for proper handling. You need to make sure that you're dealing with the customer with the right kind of attitude based upon the comment that you've received. In many companies, someone implements a router, I'll call it, which plays the role of determining where you're going to send a particular request. So that might be to a sales department if someone's looking for an order, to a customer complaint um, area if someone has a, an issue or a complaint, it may be to an order area if they're looking for status, something like that. In our scenario today, we're going to be talking about sentiment. So we're going to ask a customer to provide us feedback on some new products that we've come out with. And we're gonna gauge that comment as a positive comment, a negative comment, or a neutral comment. So if the comment's positive, like love the new product, you go in the right direction, really excited, something like that, then we wanna thank the customer for their loyalty if they've already purchased from us, thank them for the positive comment. Maybe see how we might be able to upsell some different products to them or cross sell them with some of our other lines. If the comment is negative, we want to make sure we reach out to that customer with the right frame of mind, asking them why they had that feeling, listening to their concerns, talking with them about providing a solution to why they think there's something wrong. For example, it might be that they're, we're using an inferior material or something they don't like. And talk about how we could provide a solution or, or listen and work with them for a path to a solution. And there may be situations where we just can't tell. It's not really a positive or a negative, but we might want to reach out to that customer and just get them. Can you clarify? Can you go into a little more detail? What would you recommend? Just give the right feedback to that customer and, and listen for their input. What you're looking at right now is this very simple example of Kamunda process orchestration using a human router. So we're going to mimic the idea of a customer entering a comment. Probably that comment would be coming in through a chat bot or an email or some other input mechanism. In this case, we're just going to enter a comment so we can show you how we would deal with that. And the next thing is reviewing the customer sentiment. So someone, in this case, a router, a human being is going to look at it and say, hmm, I think that's a positive comment. Hmm, I think that's a negative comment. And based on that information, they are going to determine negative, positive, or neutral, and it will go to the appropriate department with the appropriate action to be taken. For example, if it's a negative comment, we want to follow up and improve the customer's perception. If it's a positive comment, we want to thank them for the positive comment, maybe cross-sell, upsell. And if it's neutral, we can't determine it, maybe going to someone who specializes in handling that kind of thing. So we're going to show and demonstrate what it's like to use a human router. In this case, I'll show you a process for like a positive, a negative, and or a neutral comment coming in. And then I want to look at something in Kamunda that's called a heat map. So we can see, is this human router an issue? Could it be causing us to slow down our processes? And how might we improve that by implementing or automating a step? So let's jump into that. Here I'm in the Kamunda Modeler tool showing a example, very simple workflow, looking at a customer comment, using a person or a human to route that comment based upon sentiment. They'll be given a form to look at, to give it a positive, negative, or neutral rating. And then based upon the comment and the value of that rating, it'll route that to the appropriate department for handling. So let's run this and see what it looks like. In a real scenario, this workflow would be initiated by someone's comment coming in through another mechanism, whether that's a chat bot or an email or something like that. But for now, we're going to show you doing it in a simple way, just mimicking how a customer comment might be entered. This is just an example customer comment, and we're going to put in something. In this case, it's going to be a, a positive comment, and I'm going to complete that. So this would be like the email coming in or the bot coming in with the information. And then imagine you've got an individual, several individuals, a department or something, and their job is to wait for these customer inquiries to come in. Like I said, in this case, we're looking for feedback on new products specifically. So in this case, I'm going to look at the, at the information. I've got a task assigned to me is to review the sentiment that, of the customer comment. Here I see that the comment 
um, has they, they like the new boots, they love the patterns, they fit great. Very obvious to me that that's a positive comment. If I feel like I need to add some reasoning for why I feel that way, I could add that here and then I can complete that task. And if you'll notice, if I look at this, that was a positive comment. So the positive comment was actually routed to, thank you for being a customer. That's what we said we'd be doing. We'd thank them, look at possibly upselling or cross-selling. So if I go back to my task list, now I'm playing the role of someone who's actually in the department, probably sales, that would be getting the feedback, the positive feedback from the customer to make a decision on how to deal with it. In this case, I get the thanks for being a customer. I see here, here's the comment that the customer made. They love the boots. I want to review the comment, connect with the customer, thank them, etc. This would probably be entered into a CRM system, but just to show you an example of how this is being routed. Let's look at that again if we add a different kind of comment. So I'll go back over here and rerun this again, and I'm going to enter a different kind of comment this time. So if I go again to my task list, again, we're mimicking the idea of a comment coming in through an email or some other method. So here's the email or the method coming in with the customer giving actually what I consider a, a negative comment. So here's my group of individuals that are sitting there, the routers, as we call them, they're waiting for tasks to work on, where they will be looking for at the customer comment and making the appropriate uh, routing based upon that information. So I've been disappointed with the quality of the boots lately. I think this is a negative comment. So I wanna make sure that I flag that as a negative comment. And then I may wanna apply some reasoning to that. So if I complete that and I go back over here and again, look at what's going on with my instances, You'll see here that I flagged that negative. So just a second, it'll catch up. And you'll see that it actually went into the negative area, it says follow up and improve customer perception. So if I go over here, I now am in a department that deals with complaining customers or customers who aren't happy. I would get the information and I would see that this customer is disappointed and I would look at the appropriate steps to reach out to the customer, understand and see how we can improve the relationship. So that gives you an idea of what simple way that this might be taking place. Now let's look a little bit about what that means. So if I go over here and look at something that we can provide with our tool, Optimize, you'll notice that here's the same exact workflow that we were dealing with before. And if we look at that, we'll notice that the people who are dealing with the comments once they are in the proper department are taking very long to respond to those. This is over time. We've gone through several instances, but this is a bottleneck. This is a, a duration that's taking time because we're waiting for that one individual or those two individuals have to look at every single comment coming in and determine, do I route that as a negative or a positive, or do I not know what kind of comment that is and I make it neutral? So this is a bottleneck in our process. So now I want to talk about how we might be able to remove that bottleneck and streamline that process by automating that task. Now let's look at the situation where you might want to replace that router, that person who's making the determination about the comment being negative, positive, or neutral with a machine learning model that we're using an example from Hugging Face with a Camunda connector that will go and look at the comment, make a determination, and include what's called a confidence score or a score on how confident they are that that is either positive, negative, or neutral. So I'm going to demonstrate that similarly, and we'll go back and look at those heat maps like we did before. So here we have pretty much the same workflow. All we've done is replace this router concept with a call out to a hugging face model that we're using, which does sentiment analysis. And it's gonna return three scores or three comment scores. And we're gonna take the top score from that. So the, the top sentiment and the top score. And then based upon that information, so as long as our score is shows positive and it's, a, and it's got a confidence of over 55%, we're gonna send it on its way to these various departments. Same thing here. If the comment score is below 55%, or it's classified as neutral, we're gonna send it for someone to review it and make some human interaction. But this should knock down some of the time that we're spending on doing the classification. Let's run this and see what happens. So if I'll put in here, I love the new boots, I could order one in every color. So I'm gonna complete that task. So there's the incoming process. Now, if we check out what's going on here, it's actually at the hugging face step right now. So this is, we've entered a comment and hugging face is making a determination. It's done. It's done. It says it's not. It's it's a 
co positive comment and it's going to do something about it. So here you can see that it was 98% confident that it was a positive comment. So let's see what happens in there. So it got routed as we showed you before. It got routed to thank the person for being a customer. We're going to do that follow up that possible cross sale or upsell. So we're going to look at this comment. It's going to say thank the customer and we're really happy about what we saw and we want to go through with that. So once again, if you look at this again, it's actually saying that the, the sentiment was positive and the comment score was 98% that we thought that was positive. Let's try that again and see what happens. See if we get a different score on a different type of comment. So I'll go back over here to run this again and we'll put in a different comment this time. See if we get some different confidence level. Here we're going to enter the customer comment again and I'm going to go here and put something that's I would construe as probably not an, a positive comment. I wish you would go back to your old styles. I don't like the new ones. Once again, let's check out what's happening over here. Here we have a process running at the sentiment analysis done by our model, our machine learning model, classified it as negative. And let's see why. The comment score was 85% and it was a negative comment. So it went to the follow up to improve perception. So one would expect me to have a follow up and improve perception. So here is my comment to go improve the perception of what happened with that particular individual. We can see now what would happen and how quickly that's getting done without a human doing that particular step. So let's look again at what happens if we review how that model looks in our tool optimize where we can look at the heat maps and see if we're experiencing any bottlenecks. Now if we take a moment to review the same kind of heat map where we're looking at bottlenecks in our process using the machine learning model from Hugging Face, you'll notice that this is actually one of the quickest steps we have, averaging a second and 725 milliseconds. But as one would expect, it's taking a little bit longer to classify things that are showing up as neutral or unclassified and some time to follow up on negative comments, not so much on the positive comments. So we're taking something that was significantly more. So if we look back at the this particular model we we're looking, it was 13 minutes and, and 9 seconds, 381 milliseconds for someone to determine if a customer comment was positive, negative or not. So we're taking that that and changing it to doing something in, a, in one second in 663 milliseconds. So you can see how much streamlining that through a automated component, in this case, a machine learning model that's doing sentiment analysis on the information we're providing is helping our process. So in summary, what we've done is we've all can agree that customer inquiries are time consuming. They take time to follow up on. It's very important today to make sure there's a human side of things and somebody's not always dealing with a robot or a chat bot or something like that. So you want to have a human interaction when it's appropriate, but you can also streamline processes that may not need to have a human. In this case, we're taking a process that takes quite a bit longer with a human involved and in streamlining the process by implementing a machine learning model that we're calling to make that same determination for us, still in a, allowing us to distribute the customer inquiry appropriately, but also be reviewed by a human when required. Thank you so much for your time today.